ओ ओ जाने जाना ढूंढे तुझे दीवाना to have an association association with such a big uh superstar of indian cinema right. that has immensely helped my career if i want to go and see his film i want to see the salman khan that we all love how has the lockdown been for you so far um both good and bad um good in the sense that by god's grace i've been safe but bad in the sense that i've lost dear sort of friends loved ones um during this pandemic so i would say it's been quite sad but fortunately you know i'm safe my family's safe right and i hope it stays that way and i i'm praying for all the people out there who are suffering right now right and i i hope radhi promotions are helping you uh, deal with this pandemic i hope so It is, it is, yeah. yeah. So Kamal talking about two blockbuster songs, Dil De Diya and Siti Mar, both have been receiving immense amount of love on social media. How does it feel? It's always um, a great feeling when a song is appreciated, um, and obviously it becomes, you know, right. a rage. Um, there's no denying it's better to have a, a big blockbuster song than to have like a. an average hit some you know cd mar big hit massive hit really appreciated and both the follow up song the lidia has really appreciated and has right. become a super hit so i'm yeah i'm i'm in like a very good zone right now in terms of uh, my work here yeah. any best compliment you received from your loved ones or your family if you would like to share with us um for me i think the best compliment that i get especially from uh fans um mm-hmm. and especially salman khan fans today is they say that um my voice suits him sort of the best today. because like it sounds like he's singing so for me that's a big compliment because uh you know visually when you're watching um an actor sing a song it's always nice where the voice gels with with today. the actor. i i couldn't agree more being a salman salman fan myself I, like i have to be i have to say that like it's damn like perfect like or kisi ka aawaz shayad i can't imagine uh, behind salman's aura so like how did both the songs happen for you like if you have to go back and idea kya tha dono songs ke piche um see people a lot of people maybe have have this perception that because of my association with salman khan it's it's like a, a given it's like automatic that if i dub for one of his songs i'm definitely going to be the voice of um you know of that song but with cd mar i recorded the song i dubbed the song and then it was sent to the music director um and then he approved it um and obviously had he not approved it then maybe they would have tried tried you know other singers but i was i was fortunate that the song got approved and he loved the song um and the same with dil de diya i think dil de diya uh, with himesh reshamia mm-hmm. um i recorded the song again same thing he heard it and i think it had, it had been recorded by somebody else i'm not sure who before i recorded it and then obviously my version was was approved and another story which not many people know um even with my first song o jaane jaana mm-hmm. two singers myself and another singer i won't mention that person's name okay. because it wouldn't be fair but a very well known singer had recorded o jaane jaana as well so jatin dalit had re- used another singer and then i went and recorded my version and then my version got approved so people think okay because of my association with salman khan it's like okay he's given a song and it's his it's like my song no no, no i've i have to go through the same process but obviously it helps um having that friendship and association with salman khan because you know i get offered kind of the best songs right. so like if we talk about ct mars what was the main re- re- reason behind taking up allu arjun's song for this for radhe like why not a original song that i have to be honest no idea that was not my decision so that was the decision of the makers um so i really don't know but to be honest i'm glad 
they took the song because right. as you know, the song has become huge. So for me yeah. as an artist, as a singer, um, I don't have any preference whether it's a remake or not a remake. Um, finally, the song, the song is important. The song should be good. If it's a remake, it should be as good as the original, if not better than the original. So I think they've done justice. Um, I think we've all done justice to the song, the fact that it's such a big hit. Right. Uh, when, when you are working on a song with your team, is Sun, Salman involved in the creative part? Is there any involvement? Yes, yes. Um, he's involved right from the beginning. So okay. when, when a song is actually finalized, that decision is like his, as in song selection. So he will hear songs, he will decide, okay, I like this song. And then even when it comes to like um, dubbing the song, after I've say dubbed for the song, I've recorded the song, he will then get to hear it. Then he will give his suggestions that, okay, okay. this is amazing. How about if we try this? So he has, um, especially considering he's an actor and not okay. like a, a, a professional singer. So he has, I would say probably out of all the people I know and worked with in the music, music industry, his music sense is phenomenal. Right. I mean, I if I record anything, he's the first person I will play my songs to for an opinion because his he gets validation it. is important basically and not, not only that he he gets it within seconds he will know hit right. like he'll say yeah blockbuster super hit or he'll say this needs work change this and nine times out of ten he is right when he says change this do something else when it's done it, he's usually right so he you know amazing music sense I was uh, reading one of DSP's interview and uh, where he told that it was Salman's suggestion in the CTMR song about that disco thing, the disco and that bit. It was Salman's suggestion and after that it was uh, incorporated in the song. Well, that's really amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not aware of that story, but yeah, if he said this, then obviously it, 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 it's something that... Um, I feel is quite normal. His his input when it comes to music, and that's probably why, if you look at his um, career over the years, hmm. I think he's had probably the most, the highest number of like blockbuster songs. I mean, his okay. films, music, is a big part of his films, and he's had like some amazing, amazing hits. Right, your collaboration with Salman, like it's a journey from 1996, and now. Uh, you you are doing Rade with him. So how has the journey uh, journey been with him so far? Your journey with um, him? It was 1998. Oh, Jane Jane came out in 1998. But I think you started off with 1996, nice. right? Jane yeah, Jane, yeah. you sang back that's then. Right, that's right. That's yeah. right. I recorded the song in 96 as a single. As a right. single. Um, the single did very well. And then obviously Salman Khan heard my version of the song hmm. and then then it came out in 98 but yeah my association with him it's been an amazing see i always say this that i feel that you know god has blessed me in the sense that i have an association with not just uh, uh an actor but to have an association association with such a big uh, superstar of Indian cinema, right. that has immensely helped my career. Um, because, you know, for me, I always say that being associated with him in any song, for me as an artist, 90% of my work is done. Right. Because he takes that song to such a level. level right, right. Like, for example, O oh, Jane Jana, the fact he just removed his shirt because there was there was no outfit there was no costume for him to wear at the time it was yeah. too small so just this thing for, you know him doing that took the song like from where to where so it's like that his swag his personality um for me you know i i feel blessed back then when the song was being shot did you ever think that it's so big and And till today, this song is so relevant. It, it is a party starter for sure, be it a wedding or clubs. Where you can see, the kids are dancing on this song. So yeah. it is really amazing to see that the 90s song is now so much trend. So like, how does it make you feel? Before, did you ever think that 
it will touch this level <laughs> yeah. um after i recorded the song the film song um right. and you know jatin lalit did amazing like what they did to my original song they also took that song to another level so a lot of a lot of credit a lot of credit goes to them um but when i heard the song after i recorded it i think i was sitting in saman khan's car and he was shooting uh for pyar kiya khuda na kiya we were on location somewhere so i that was the first time i actually heard the final recording and i and i heard it on loop in the car okay i must have heard it like 10 times and i actually thought then i thought you know what this song has something there's a chance that it could become big a blockbuster there's no i uh, when we do songs there's no guarantee it's going to be a big hit or anything but yes um when i see it or when i hear it being played in say weddings or uh in cars uh, or in, in parties and stuff it's always an amazing feeling to think that a song from that era or like right. late 90s to be appreciated like 20 years later for me it's 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 a it's a big thing um and yeah um uh, i don't know what to say it's it's <laughs> but again as i said i think this is one song that i personally would love to remake okay but yeah. wasn't it remade for suraj pancholi's movie recently it, it was um but i'm not sure was it i don't was it released or no it? i don't think it got released but it. yeah some chunks got uh, leaked on twitter so i watched that i'm not sure about the film thing oh okay yeah um yeah i think the making of i think when they were shooting the song in london somebody filmed right uh, something short and it was leaked but i don't think it was released and i think if it's if it wasn't released i would definitely uh love to do uh, you know release it as a remake yeah okay but fans were not happy to see suraj pancholi dancing in that song because it is an iconic so- song and it it is for salman and no one else so they were very curi- uh, curious to see that video <laughs> Really I I'm, I'm not aware I wasn't aware of, of this but obviously see die hard Salman Khan fans will naturally say that yeah. they would not like you know, if I'm a fan of say like a Sylvester Stallone I would not want to see him you know someone else trying to do something right. that he's done well, that, that is natural but um yeah I think that's, that's <laughs> would be see o oh, o oh, jaane jana remake in up in Salman's upcoming movies and would you like to uh, sing it for him again or someone else <laughs> um i've not thought about it uh whether it's for him or somebody else i think that decision would be his is right um if he wants to use that song in a film that would be mm-hmm. his decision uh, if he does decide on it then obviously i would love to be a part of it um and if not if it is for some other actor then again i would still obviously i'd love to be a part of it because obviously i sang the original right and I, and i regard it as sort of like my song kind of thing because i composed it um but let's see let's see we don't know but let's see okay speaking about your collaboration with salman you have known him so for so many years now professionally and personally so if i ha- if i have to ask you have you ever witnessed a change in him what would that be over the over the years i think um as i think most people as human beings i think the majority of people we all change right but he was an amazing individual human being even when i first met him and got to know him but his growth as a as a human being has gone from being an amazing human being and then he's taken that and the I mean I don't see him as Salman Khan the superstar of India you know I see him as someone who I admire as as a human being because of the work he does the phenomenal right. I mean, amazing work he does his charity being human mm-hmm. so I always say if there's one thing I kind of I'm uh, I wish I could do is is the kind of work he does uh for his charity it's it's amazing as a as a person I I that respect uh i have for him is is immense right so kamal talking about your early days uh was becoming a singer always on your mind uh no i studied music when i was at school um mm-hmm. then i started uh singing at a young age and then i gave it up um because my natural progression um it was always in the back of my parents minds that 
uh, after I complete my education, I will um, join the family business. Okay. So um, we had we went to like property development. Um, uh, so I did that, <clears throat> and then I think it got to a point where I, well, you know what, this is not. I don't see myself doing the rest of my life. So I'm a, I'm quite a, I feel I'm quite a creative person, and I wasn't finding, you know, for that creativity right. and that uh, artistic side of me. So one day I just decided um, to record a song, and then I recorded all Jana Jana, and then mm. and then I took it round. You know, it was kind of like a struggling period because I took it round to like two three music companies right. in the UK, and I think one of them said yes, uh, the other two were not sure. Um, so yeah, it wasn't like, a, a, I wouldn't say like, I wasn't gifted with this sort of easy journey. I had to kind of work hard and spend like 18, 19 hours in the studio, like literally every day for like a year mm -hmm. to, to, to do my like first album. Yeah. <laughs> You started off with O Jane Jana and rest is history. Like we know the kind of work you have done. Like it's amazing to see that journey. Thank so you. like later, like after your singing part, you also went on to make your acting debut with Sunny Deol in Jo Bole Sohniyar. Then after that, what happened? Like why why were you not doing movies? Um, I then took a break. Um, I had certain family commitments that I had to sort of uh, take care of. Um, my mother's health deteriorated also. Um, so then I came back to the UK. I had to take care of those things. Um, and then also, see, acting was never my, it was never a conscious decision that, you know, I want to become an actor. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I feel I can do justice to it, but I always see myself as a singer, as a performer. Uh, and it's something that I, it's my first love. It's something that I love more than anything, or anything, anything else. Right. Um, and then there came a time where I was actually missing, again, that creative, the outlet for my creativity. You know, I was starting like, I was getting that itch to get back in, in into back. it. Uh, right. And then again, Salman Khan was the one who was like, you know, you belong here, you belong in this industry and you should, you know, and I was fortunate because I don't think as an artist, I have been sort of overexposed where, you know, even if I, like when I came back, it wasn't like, uh, you've heard this voice again, you know, so many times that there was, you know, there's still a bit of like freshness that people say that, you know, I bring. So okay. I, I'm lucky. Yeah. But has Salman offered you a role in any of his films, maybe recently? Uh, <laughs> I don't think he has probably he knows that I'm not thinking about getting it back into acting so I don't I think because he knows that we spend a lot of time a lot of right. time together um, even like uh, in the first lockdown we were together at his farm mm -hmm. so I think he knows that I'm not I'm completely um, focused on music mm -hmm. and singing so right. probably because of that he's not mentioned <laughs> okay anything. but if given a chance you would love to do it right <laughs> Yeah, I would love to do it, especially like share screen space with him. Even if it's, you know, I, I sometimes like I say like, even if it's just walking in the background, but <laughs> just, just once where I just say, you know, not only have I uh, sung for him, but I've shared screen space with, with him as well. Yeah. Right. So like speaking about Radhe, did you get a chance to uh, watch that film or bits of that film? And what can have, fans ex expect from this Bhai film? <laughs> I have, I've um, seen quite a few portions of it. So whenever okay. like, some of the portions were complete, but the complete film I haven't seen from start to finish. Um, right. But yeah, I mean, I loved it because I'm, I'm like how, you know, like I think how a typical Salman Khan fan right. is. Hmm. If I want to go and see his film, I want to see the Salman Khan that we all love. Right. And we all know. There's certain things about the characters that he portrays, he brings to, to his um, films. And I want to see that. And I want to see it again and again. And I want to see um, like a Chulbul, you know. Right. Or, so he, you know, Radhe, 
it's what can I say? It, it's Salman Khan. <laughs> it will be a CT Mar performance for sure. Pardon? It will be a CT Mar performance. It will be a CT Mar performance for sure, right? <laughs> We were hoping, we were hoping, I mean, a lot of hard work has gone into the making of the film and the music, right. so we're all keeping our fingers crossed that, yeah, it will be a CD model performance. And I, I'm sure, I mean, whenever I've seen um, his films in the theater, there's always, you always get people standing up, going to the front and dancing right. and throwing coins and stuff. So that's kind of, you know, expected. Right, and he's coming back after two years owing to the pandemic last year. The film couldn't release, so the fans are more excited to watch him on the big screen. Yeah, yeah. we're all excited, even myself. <laughs> okay, and apart from Rade, what's next for you? Um, I have another song. I uh, have some song, couple of songs with Sajid Wajid, um, uh, Himesh Reshamia. Then I've got um, a couple, couple of other film songs that I can't discuss at the moment. Okay. And then during the pandemic, when it first started in March last year, um, obviously the film industry was well, it was completely shut right. down. Hmm. So I started working on singles. Okay. So I have now done quite a few singles. Um, and amongst those singles, I think there's like two or three songs that probably would work very well in films. So I may then release some of my work here. Okay, okay. So, Kamal, I have a rapid fire for you, but before we begin that, I just want you to sing O, o Jane Jana, Siti Mar and Dil De Diya, and then we can resume the rapid fire. You have to sing all three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, please. I am, I'm sure fans will love it. Um, hmm. O, O Jane Jana, Dhoonde Tujhe Divana, Sapno Me Roze Aay, A Zindagi Me Aana. Um, and CT Mar. CT Mar, yeah. Nachale, Nachale, Arman, Nachale, De, 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 CT Mar, CT Mar, CT Mar, CT Mar, CT Mar. Um, Dil De Diya. Oh, that's mainly female. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Isn't a beetle manga? Usn't a beetle manga? Isn't a beetle manga? Usn't a beetle manga? Men in Karkia Jabari de Si to Jedil de Dia. Wow, <laughs> fab, fab, fab. Loved it. And thank you, thank you for joining me at E Times. And all the very best for Rade. It's coming up soon on 13th May. I wish the film does well, like always. <laughs> Thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Same here. Same here. Thank you. Bye. Take care. You too. Bye. Yeah, bye.